Happy Halloween. Right, need something that won't spook your loved ones and be done in just 10 minutes? This is Ramsey in 10. Now, let's be honest, cheese on toast is one of my all-time favorite snacks. But today, I'm taking the cheese on toast, the basic cheese on toast, to a whole new level, because this is a bacon cauliflower cheese on toast. Now, please, watch closely, because I promise you, you're going to love it. Right, Oscar, the ingredients, clearly cauliflower, beautiful, stunning vegetable, bits of bacon, some really rich, stunning, mature cheddar cheese, and finished with parmesan, double cream, Cream cheese, salt, pepper, and this baby here, a beautiful sourdough bread. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock, please. Right, cheese on toast in 10 minutes, but with a difference. Right, get your bread. You know, when you start toasting bread, okay, never go too thin, okay? Get it really nice and thick, because you want to taste that beautiful sourdough bread. From there, turn that on and literally in to the oven and get that toasting. Now, the secret behind any great toast and cheese is just toasting that bread once, making sure that we do not get that bread soggy. So, the bacon. Again, I'm using a really nice, light, sort of back bacon, um, and it's smoked, okay? That's gonna be a really nice, sort of smoky flavor across the sort of cauliflower cheese and bacon. A touch of oil, just a touch, okay? Whack up the gas. Now, from there, drop in these little crispy bacon lardons. And what I'm gonna do here in this pan is sort of almost make, it's like a sort of flourless roux, okay? A nice, cheesy, smoky flavor that sits beautifully on the toast. And talking about toast, and boom. Touch more. Check that toast. Now, as that bacon's getting crispy, get your paring knife and just go round. And these little sort of trees are called florets. And so the secret here is literally just to get the florets and cut them in half, and the big ones into quarter. And what we're gonna do now is sort of lightly toast these with the bacon, okay, in. Now, you'll be surprised how quick these cauliflower florets cook. But just, just take a look in there. Oscar, please, pan down, my man, pan down. Look at that, beautiful, really beautiful. Now, a touch of salt and a touch of pepper. Get some color on that bacon, but look, give that a little toss. So that nice, smoky bacon flavor is now permeating across the cauliflower. Cauliflower sort of toasted like this in that bacon fat with a little bit of butter, lightly smoked, is delicious. Butter goes in now. That stops it from burning. But look what's happening to the cauliflower. Now we start the magic. Now we start the sort of the cauliflower and cheese richness. A teaspoon of smoked paprika in there, OK? That's going to give it some richness and a little kick in spice in. From there, some heat. A tablespoon of mustard, English mustard, okay? And then, roll that round. But look what's happening to that cauliflower. We've got the heat in the pan. In goes the cream cheese. Generous. In goes the double cream. And this is when we start to make that beautiful cheese sauce. Now, bring that up to the boil. As it's boiling away, get your rich cheddar cheese. And I like grating it on the thick side because it's crumbly and it's delicious. And I want that really nice, rich flavor in there. But look what's happening in that pan. All that beautiful goodness. And this cheese literally crumbles and over. Now, bring that together, okay? Gas down and just bring that together. When I say bring that together, give that a light toss and look, we've got this nice sort of cauliflower, smoky, bacon flavored mixture. Now for my toast. Gas goes off. Now, toast. Turn that around. 
because what I'd like is to make sure that I've got a nice crisp base and the top, I want it a little bit sort of soggy. Get your spoon and generously start spooning that on and covering. Halfway. Now, do not waste any of this. That smoked paprika gives it that really nice flavour. Slightly spicy, but it's a sweet spice. It's not a sharp, hot spice. First one done. Now, it's so nice to see all that coming together. And you want it sort of slightly loose, but fill those slices of bread. This is a great pick-me-up when you sort of can't decide between lunch, you can't decide between dinner, and you're sort of stuck in the middle. This is the perfect dish. Now, those bacon bits, so good. Get your parmesan, and literally, over the top, I want to sort of cover that now with your parmesan, quite thick. I want this nice coat, okay? cheese on top. And the smell of that is amazing. Pile that up, OK? Anything falls off, pile it up. Don't waste those bits. On and on. And then, look, finally, before it goes back into the grill, some crushed black pepper. Really important. And season that cheese, OK? A little touch of salt. And now she's ready to go back in the oven. Time, please. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Man, right into the grill. I want that grill sort of bubbly, that cheese on top. Now, what do we do to get this thing a little lighter? How do we get that thing just a little bit more sort of flavoursome? Fresh chives. That gives a nice light onion flavour that we're just going to sort of sprinkle on top of that cheese on toast. Now, we've all had cheese on toast many times, grilled cheese. But this cauliflower and bacon addition, especially with that smoked paprika, honestly, is incredible. Now, with the chives, I like to mix a bit of salt and pepper. No one ever seasons their chives. I do. And so it just puts that really nice finish on there. And then, finally, time, please. Two minutes. Two minutes. Now, look at that. That is bubbling. It's bubbling. Get those seasoned chives. Be heavy on the chives. You'll see why, because it sort of cuts through that richness, but gives it that really nice lift of that nice, sweet, gentle onion flavour. And with the bacon and the cauliflower, trust me, that is to die for. Ooh, beautiful one. And this one. Second one. And that, my friend has to be the most delicious cauliflower bacon cheese on toast in under 10 minutes. Boom! Time, please. One minute and 15 seconds. Shut the front door. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey and 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.